Okay, 13,000 feet in northern Chile, we have one of the weirdest goddamn plants that Earth has ever probably produced. This is Azarella compacta, and it's a member of the carrot family, Apiaceae. And you'd figure, how the shit is this a member of the carrot family? But remember, anything that's growing up here is generally going to take on a low-growing, sespitose, carpeted, matted habit because of how fucked up this environment is we're at 13,000 feet solar radiation is much more intense it's very high very dry and so you get this a bunch of tiny leaf rosettes forming a little rug with a bunch of sessile tiny yellow apiaceous carrot family like flowers all right remember we grew plants into what family they are and evolutionarily by looking at the flowers don't look at the fucking leaves you can all see there's resin on this stuff but look at that there's hundreds of tiny leaf rosettes a leaf rosette whether it's agave or whether it's azarella compacta is a great way to maximize photosynthetic efficiency while minimizing surface area and exposure to the sun in the cold dry air now, natural selection, a.k.a. millions of years of living in this environment, have endowed Azarella Compacta with everything it needs to survive and thrive in this kind of habitat. At 13,000 feet elevation, with the volcanic soils and the high dry air, and the increased solar radiation due to a thinner atmosphere. Look at that. Look at all those tiny yellow flowers on this little green rug. Kind of feels like plastic. Now, as you can see, this is a very open, exposed environment, and that's due to the fact that we're in the northern Andes. There's a rain shadow to the east. All the precipitation comes from the east, hits those mountains, dries out, drops its moisture. We also have cold ocean currents to the west that keep this very dry. And as you can see, these flowers, again, are just sessile on this green rug of leaf rosettes. Don't stick up too tall because those harsh, cold, dry, desiccating winds will just cut you right back down, okay? So it's much more efficient to just keep it like a rug, keep it like a little mat. And so we get this matted, low-growing sespitose habit, and you see this in many plants that have evolved at either high elevations or high latitudes. I should also mention those tiny leaf rosettes have a thick, waxy cuticle covering them. These leaves feel like plastic. They're not very soft. That thick, waxy cuticle also prevents against the plant drying out. Now, this is probably a few thousand years old. It's been here for a very long time, and the, the depth of that plant goes down at least a foot. The rocks are at least a foot beneath this whole mat right here. You can see all this resin dripping out of the plant right there. It kind of smells like uh, parsley or maybe celery. It's got those furanocoumarins in it, which are the secondary chemistry of the carrot family, APAC. It's got that carroty smell. And here we got a plant that has gone to fruit. Those flowers were pollinated. They've matured at these little pink fruits. There'll be little flaky seeds inside in a few weeks. That's all I got. Go fuck yourself. Bye.